I'm on the hunt for the best Finder alternative, and to me, Commander One is the best. But what else is on the market, and how does the software work? All of that will be answered in the next few minutes. My name's Colin, and welcome to my search for the best Finder alternative. First of all, what does it do? Well, if you're watching this video, then you probably already know, but for the newbies out there, Commander One is essentially an alternative, super-powered, enhanced version of macOS Finder. So, navigating your folders, renaming, moving, copying, pasting your files, locating cloud storage resources, a whole host of everyday activities, as well as plenty of customizable options, which we'll get to very shortly. Okay, secondly, let's see what the competition is for Commander One. It's vital in any review to see what else is on the market to give you that benchmark of what the standard really is. So, Forklift and Transmit are among the bigger names in the alternative Finder scene, but you've got FileZilla, CyberDuck, you've got Terminator, a long list of others. Forklift is the one that I was most familiar with. I felt it did really everything I needed it to do. But here I am looking at Commander One to see if it can give me an even better experience. Okay, so here is Commander One, a dual pane file manager which makes the original Finder look like child's play. I'll start with some of the basic functionality. You'll see here I've got two locations open, my downloads and my statements folder. From here, it's very straightforward to use, so I'm able to delete files, copy and paste, as well as the simple click and drag. But let's go check out the preferences section of Commander One. You'll see we've got a whole range of languages to choose from. Obviously, I've got English selected, but let's have a look. There's German, Korean, Russian, all sorts to apply to as wide an audience as possible, which really impressed me. There's other sections here on how to see your files. I've got quick look selected, as well as how to edit the files. Okay, onto the view tab, and you've got the choice of the header and footer sizing in bytes or dynamic, and you can see the detail that goes into customizing the software. You can really make it your own. Folders on tab, size and columns, showing full file names, it's all here. Okay, let's go into hotkeys, a crucial part of any successful, well-designed software. I really like the default settings already, so I'm just gonna leave them, but you can see already how you can change things. Reload, move file, duplicate file at the touch of the key of your choosing. I really like how easy it is to do this because sometimes hotkey customizations can be a total nightmare, but Commander One actually makes it really easy. Right, let's check out appearance. Here's even more customization options. You've got an entire list of fonts to choose from, plus the color presets. Uh, you can see you've also got the options to change the cursor color, the text color, what the text selection looks like. But the blue, white, and black is really working for me. I like that a lot. It feels very Scottish to me, so let's keep exploring. But if you want to make Commander One a multicolored smorgasbord rainbow of your choosing, you can do so. We've got the extensions tab here, which is ideal if you know exactly how you want to set up your software. And here's the archive tool for compressing your files. Now, here is another neat trick of Commander One. You can choose the default format for any files you want compressed. I mean, obviously zip is the go-to, but you've also got the 7Z, you've got TXZ and a bunch of others, but I'm gonna stick with zip for the time being. Compression method is another customizable option, but look here, you can even encode what you're compressing. I dig this a lot, and if you want, you can set your own password. I always forget mine, so I'm just gonna leave this section empty. But this is a level of security that only some dual pane file managers have. I really like this a lot. You can see we've got a bunch more tick boxes in the advanced tab. These are really up to you for how you like to work, and you can, you can pick and choose what suits your style. So as you can see, the, the layout of Commander One is really clean. Deleting, moving, renaming, all nice and easy. And that's what you'll likely be using this app for more than anything else. We've also got the option to show hidden files up here with just the click of a button, plus some quick look and some search functionality. The whole interface, as you can see, has a range of options without feeling cluttered at all. Plus at the very top is even more options like command, go, help if you need it. Honestly, I could spend an hour exploring all the things that Commander One can do. 
As mentioned earlier, this software is free, but there is a pro version for the tiny sum of $30 if you want to splash the cash and take your C1 to the next level. That purchase unlocks a long list of other advanced functionality features too, so on top of browsing local and network attached volumes, the pro version also functions alongside FTP and web dev servers and cloud services, adding Box and Backblaze to the original lineup of Dropbox, Amazon S3, OneDrive, and Google Drive. Overall, I was super impressed with Commander One. It really does stand out amongst the bigger names in this genre, and for me, it's the best of the lot. So, for more information on what I've been talking about here, really easy, search for Commander One, download your free trial, and give it a shot and then come back to this video and leave me a comment about what you thought of Commander One. See you later.